Hi, my name is David Kiron. I'm the executive editor of the Big Ideas Initiatives at the uh, MIT Sloan Management Review. Um, it's an honor to be here today. Uh, I really appreciate being in the honor, uh, in, in the uh, presence of uh, my esteemed colleague, Martin Reeves, and uh, uh, thank you, CR Magazine and uh, New York Stock Exchange Euronet and a number of other organizations that were at the bottom of the previous uh, slide. Um, Basically, we have, a, we have a few minutes here. We're going to go over our research uh, that uh, MIT, SMR, and BCG have, collaborated, have been collaborating on for the past four years. We're going to talk specifically about the research that we've done in the past year in a report that's on the tables outside. Some of you may have brought them to your tables in here. Maybe not many of you, but some of you have. Uh, it's called the Innovation Bottom Line. I'm going to talk very fast. This is a little bit like an Evelyn Wood uh, speed reading uh, of, our, of our research initiative, which has been ongoing for the past four years. Um, and uh, one of the things we've been doing is we've been trying to understand the uh, sustain we've been trying to understand sustainability in the business context. And we've been looking at that at a macro level, looking at uh, this as a global movement across industries, across nations, and also at the firm level. And our method for exploring this has been uh, through the use of surveys. Uh, typically, an annual survey will get uh, anywhere in the uh, around uh, several thousand uh, managers will respond to our surveys. They represent uh, organizations of various sizes across the uh, across the globe. And also, um, uh, uh, we also do interviews with leading practitioners like yourselves to get uh, insights into sort of how specific companies are uh, addressing sustainability challenges and uh, creating opportunities from them. Um, I'm not used to talking this fast, so uh, if I stumble over words, please uh, 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 pay uh, some allowances, please. Um, but uh, let me start by saying we, we have been asking managers for uh, each year uh, what, they, what terms they associate with sustainability in their organizations. And uh, the top three have been consistent each year. They've been economic sustainability or economic viability, environmental issues, corporate social responsibility each year. Now, that's, uh, that's not that surprising, but uh, it is, but you think that like, given that dis those descriptors that sustainability would be a big thing for the organization. Like you just take a step back. I mean, these are really big existential. Uh, it's a, it's a big existential kind of thing for an organization. Sustainability. But when we asked companies, what is the top benefit from sustainability? It's there's there's a bit of a of a, of a mismatch. And does anybody have a guess as to what the top business value of sustainability is? Each year, it's not just this past year or at the first year. It's been brand reputation. Uh, so it's, that's more about the identity of the company in the marketplace. And so there's this contrast between the existential issue and the identity issue. And one of the things that we've been trying to sort of understand and sort of we're, we're hoping for is that there is this, on the left, uh, folks in the back, there's this uh, uh, fellow writing on the board, climate change threatens our existence and it's a snoozer for most uh, executives. And then he says, like, yeah, this is not really taking. Uh, so he, he puts something else there, climate change threatens our economy, and now it gathers uh, some interest. So this has been something of the uh, trajectory uh, that we've been going on, uh, that we've been looking at. So in the first year, in 2009, we, had, we looked at, um, uh, we basically tried to uh, produce a baseline, look at uh, how companies are uh, addressing sustainability. We developed a sustainability audit. Now there are many audits. Uh, embracers, we've identified a group of companies with about 25, 24% of our survey sample, and they, had, uh, they have three things in common. They, uh, their necessity, they believe that sustainability strategies, pursuing that is necessary to remain competitive. Um, they have business cases for sustainability, and uh, they put it on their uh, management agenda. Harvesters, we focused on this group because this is the group that uh, we identified as profiting from their sustainability efforts. I know we don't have that much time, but uh, <laughs> so this harvesters were about 31 percent of our sample. We had several thousand uh, uh, survey respondents there, and uh, we looked at sort of what their main characteristics were. One of the one of the key differentiators for them 
where the, um, uh, they collaborated much more than every other kind of company. They also had great CEO support, much more CEO support. I think the percentage was 50% more uh, than everybody else. Um, and they also uh, tended to have a business case for sustainability. Sustainable driven innovators are also those companies that uh, have, uh, uh, have, have signaled that they are profiting from their sustainability efforts and have changed their business model. And we want to, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to explore a little bit in more detail. Martin is going to talk uh, extensively in, in a very compressed amount of time about uh, what, what these business model changes mean, what, what uh, corresponding changes have also happened. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm going to start introducing sort of what the key points that we discovered from uh, uh, this research were. Um, so this is just an overview of sort of who we looked at, uh, 4,000 uh, executives and managers. Uh, we, we focused on the, the, the commercial enterprises because that's pretty much who our, our readers care about. Um, uh, I can answer questions about that. We can answer questions about that later. The, uh, one of the noticeable things is uh, that from 2010, when we first started answer, asking this question about does, uh, is sustainability, is pursuing sustainability strategies necessary to be competitive, uh, a little over half said, uh, said, that, it, said that it was. Um, fast forward to 2012, 61%, a little more than three out of five uh, say that uh, it is. And uh, the, there's also been a decrease in the ones who say do not know and no. Um, and um, what we really focused on was the 37% who said they profited from sustainability activities. And What's really noteworthy about this group, which represents a 23% rise in the percentage of companies that um, uh, ha say they're profiting from their sustainability activities, which does cover a broad range of things, uh, is 63% have changed their business model. 28% um, haven't. So looking at the people who have profited from their sustainability activities, more than twice have changed their business model. And with that, Martin Reeves. Thank you, David. Um, so let me just very quickly um, give you an opinion based on the survey about uh, what is most important in this linkage between uh, profitable sustainability and sustainability. One of the assertions of uh, the, the sustainability movement in its early days was that doing the right thing automatically created its own benefits. That is clearly not the case. The, the whole idea of our survey is to survey the messy reality of sustainability and see what actually works in practice. Oh dear, there we go. Um, so uh, th the number one conclusion um, this time basically is that the minority of companies that see profitability as actually contributing to their competitiveness and profitability um, actually all change their business model. The business model is a very fashionable term. Uh, let me define it very precisely. So a business model can be defined by these six elements of a business, the target segments, the product service offering, the revenue model or the monetization model, the value chain, the cost model, uh, and the organization structure. So business model innovation is changing at least two of those. So it's not merely uh, a communication strategy, it's not merely product innovation, it's not merely process efficiency, it's changing two or more of these things. Um, and uh, let me save a lot of time by maybe just uh, describing the whole thing on this, this, this one slide. So the, the most interesting uh, and central finding of our survey this time was that um, of companies that did not change their business model, the 3,800 or so companies in the, in, 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 in the survey, only 26% of them saw a bottom line or a, or a competitive uh, uh, impact. For those that changed the business model, that was enhanced by 20 points. For those that, uh, that indulged in substantial business model innovation, which means changing at least th three or four elements of the business model, uh, that, that gets a further boost. Um, one of the hardest things that people report when we ask about barriers is, is actually creating a convincing business case for the line for business model change and sustainability efforts. For those companies that said that they'd conquered that challenge, and there are some very interesting things that we don't have time to go into about how they did that. But for those that say that they have conquered that challenge, you get a further boost. Um, and then we have two factors which are uh, smaller than the business model impact, but nevertheless statistically discriminatory in terms of discriminating in terms of 
further connection between the economic and the social and ecological uh, side of things. Uh, and one of them is a focus on collaboration beyond the boundaries of the companies. Uh, many of the companies, the majority of the companies in our sample, actually saw sustainability and CSR as essentially something that their corporation did. Um, did with their customers in mind, but it didn't actually involve uh, whole value chain collaborations. Uh, the highest performers uh, actually uh, put significant uh, resources, define their sustainability programs in terms of multi-party uh, efforts. And then finally, um, if you know what the first myth of the sustainability movement is that doing the right thing automatically creates its own benefit, the second one is that sustainability is top of everyone's agenda. And it really depends on how you ask the question. If you say sustainability very important to you, of course everybody said yes. If you say rank these issues in terms of whether they are actually permanently on the agenda of the boardroom, sustainability is number seven. It's not at the top of the agenda. And for some companies, of course it's very important, they pay lip, lip service to it, but it's actually not on the senior management agenda. Being a permanent part of the agenda is very important. And you can see how these factors work together, right? Um, you couldn't change your business model, meaning changing three or four things of those six elements of the business. You couldn't do that without creating substantial change. You couldn't create substantial change without a business case. And you couldn't change that business case unless there were a revenue side benefit. And you couldn't do that unless you were collaborating with your customers and you couldn't do that unless this were permanently in the boardroom. So of the many things that this, that pl plausibly could have been most important, these were the things that were in fact most important. Um, so, if we turn this into some, uh, some instant uh, uh, recommendations, in general, of course, um, then, then they would be these, I think. Um, firstly, be prepared to, to change your business model. And this is what I call beyond integration. We're not saying integrate sustainability into operations. We're saying change your operations in order to get paid for doing the right thing. Um, secondly, lead from the top. Everyone says they're leading from the top. We can prove that that's not the case in, in practice. Actually lead from the top. Uh, thirdly, um, look at the, and I advise you, one of the most interesting things to read about in the report is the practices of building uh, business, business cases. Uh, measure, uh, accountability, tracking, um, and, and make the business case for these substantial changes. Think about uh, sustainability collaboratively. Think about it as a multi-party effort and collaborate beyond the boundaries of your company. Um, finally, um, stay tuned in for uh, this year's um, survey. Um, we're still debating uh, where to focus this year's survey, but um, some, uh, some hot candidates are the, the material, the strategic issues, you know, the issue rather than uh, issues in general, um, uh, industry by industry, and also the connection between sustainability and resilience and risk. Um, so at this point, do we have time for one or two questions? We should probably take them later, right? Thank you, Richard.